And Stoke City, for their part, coming from their drawn game at Upton Park 24 hours earlier, now third in the first division table, and with a real chance now of grabbing the championship. But our first job today, as usual, is to catch up on the two teams for a game that is bound to be slogged out on a very heavy pitch indeed. Arsenal without Terry Mancini in their defence, he's injured. John Radford's got a cold. Brian Kidd, he's out of the attack through suspension. 18-year-old Irishman from Dublin, Frank Stapleton, gets his first game. And Eddie Kelly returns for the first time to the side since January. As for Stoke, they field exactly the side that got that 2-2 draw at West Ham on Good Friday. So Stoke City kick-off, attacking the goal to our left in a rather dazzling outfit of uh, yellow shirts with uh, a blue band on them, diagonal band, light blue shorts and light blue socks. Arsenal in the red shirts with white shorts. Results of the last few days really have uh, opened up the interest in this particular game. Stoke with their draw at West Ham yesterday, putting themselves into third position and in with a chance. Arsenal losing at Luton and are now on the fringes of relegation again. So important for Arsenal then that they pick up one or two good results in the next few days to ease all their worries. Here's goalkeeper Jimmy Rimmer and there's uh, the youngster Frank Stapleton. Now Hudson. Played again for Mahoney. A little toe poke through there and in the end uh, Rimmer had to go down well the goalkeeper is going to be John Mahoney who's playing so well this afternoon there'd be a, a little touch off by Hudson for Sammons to have a crack at goal <laughs> lifted it in fact Sammons still having a go at it oh and it's there Jeff Sammons has scored might touch it short but in fact he lifted it and although it wasn't really as accurate quite as Salmons wanted it he drilled that through the wall or past the wall and beyond Rimmer 1-0 to Stoke City shower of rain to liven the whole pitch up and get the ball moving free kick to Arsenal Rostron now played again for McNabb hit in first time there nodded away by Hudson and now by Bloor to Greenoff. Conroy versus Rice and Conroy now. And away he goes. Rimmer's got to come out now. Can Conroy keep his head and beat Rimmer? He's trying to go round the Arsenal goalkeeper. He's taken it too far. And in the end, it was pushed behind. No, the ball had gone behind. That was a great run by Conroy. Kept his head superbly, in fact, and then played it just a little too wide past Jimmy Rimmer and made the angle just a little too difficult for himself. Law, oh, losing that in the mud to Hornsby. Played on now for Rostron. Can Rostron do something for Arsenal? Stopped there by Shilton. Arsenal now beginning to come back into it a little more in this second half. Nice break there by Hornsby, and Rostron, just the angle a little too wide, too narrow for him. Sounds for Stoke. Bowers. Good ball there by Bowers for Hurst. Played nicely there by Hurst. Now for Sammons. Is this number two for Stoke? No, he's hit it wide. Beautiful play there by Stoke. Really opening up that Arsenal defence. Bowers involved. Hurst involved. A nice touch off there into the path of Jeff Sammons. I think there may have been a slight bobble just as Sammons connected. And a Kelly. Oh, he's done it too long there and found himself beaten and here's Conroy now for Stoke, still Conroy and it was uh, Rimmer who had to come out and do the defender's job and put it behind for the corner so a corner to Stoke certainly Arsenal have been pressurising Stoke more in the second half but it's Stoke who've been making these half chances and there's Samuels putting it over and Green off there with a shot and now Mahoney hitting one oh and somehow McNabb got in the way of that and finally Bowers put in a good 30 feet over the crossbar got 10 minutes left now Kelly to ball 
Kelly again. Floated deeper there for Story, who stayed right in there. McNabb is up there too. Hit for Story again, just over. What's feeling him a bit now? And of course, Stoke have another game on Monday against uh, Liverpool, which should be uh, so crucial. Particularly if Stoke can get away from here with two points. But Arsenal coming at them again now, with McNabb again taking up an attacking position on that touchline. Now it'll come for Brady. There's a shot by Brady, and oh my goodness! And it's still not away yet. Can Kelly do it? Yes, Kelly! Well, it's the equaliser Arsenal deserved. McNabb played a big part in it down that left touch line. And the ball bubbled around there for quite a while until it came through to Eddie Kelly. Right foot, bang, no mistake. Kelly scores his first game since the 18th of January. And he makes it 1-1.